Southern California plays high school ball in Ontario. Singletary left. Wagner. So he's going to give you a second time. Just a yard. Larry Wagner, one of the most competitive guys in all of football, and he does not like giving up plays. He's not as young as he used to be, but he can still go sideline to sideline, and I think his experience and intellect calling defenses... And welcome back to the show. Those were uh, highlights of Bobby Wagner. So just want to give a special thanks and a special shout out to Highlight Castle for uh, uploading those uh, stats for this year. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we're going to talk about the Rams now. The former defending Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams uh, went 5-12 and and missed the playoffs for the first time since 26, uh, 2019. Sean, Mc, Sean McVay's uh, third year. So, um, as many of you know, Bobby Wagner was um, will be released uh, was released last week by the Los Angeles Rams after spending one season with the team. Um, it was reported by NFL Network that both parties agreed to mutually part ways. So Wagner, after one year, will be a free agent and um as of right now there's no uh signs of who will sign wagner if that is an option if he still wants to play or not um before we go forward we do want to welcome those of you who were watching the lakers match up with the warriors that game just uh ended a few minutes ago the lakers ended up winning the game 105 to 113 so that's win number 31 on the season for the LeBron James uh, less Los Angeles Lakers. Um, they go up to 34, uh, 31 34 on the season. Anthony Davis led the way with 39 points. And the next matchup for the Lakers will be this Tuesday night against the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, also, Schroeder had 11 points. Um, it looks like Reeves also played tonight. He played 16 points in 28 minutes and Vanderbilt almost had uh, had a double double he had 10 points and 13 rebounds in 24 minutes so uh congratulations to the Lakers for getting a much needed win and that was a tough one over a good Golden State Warrior team that pretty much got their squad back together so uh, let's see how things go out in this season now back to the Rams uh this season Bobby Wagner posted some good numbers he had um 81 total tackles uh, solo tackles he had six sacks two interceptions so not really bobby wagner number white lies uh for this former pro bowl their former champion of the seattle seahawks so here's the question now um where will bobby wagner go here's here's what we know the rams are approximately 13.7 million dollars over the salary cap heading towards this new league year which is a reason why Wagner and the Rams have basically agreed to part ways um, unfortunately because the new season hasn't started yet it starts on the 15th so 10 days from now Bobby Wagner will be a free agent unless the Rams decide to not let him go and see if they could work things out for a new deal The reason they're doing this is because it's money-wise. Remember, just a couple of years ago, they went all-in 
um, to win the Super Bowl. You know, we remember the Jared Goff trade, the acquisition of Odell Beckham, Von Miller, and the Ram, and then Eric Weddle coming out of retirement for one last run. They won the championship that year. This will uh, occur a $7.5 million dead money charge if the Rams have the option of designating Wagner uh, to a June 1st release, which is they would save $8 million, though that savings can't be credited to the cap until the summer. Now, if he stayed on a roster on the fifth day of the 2023 league year, his million-dollar salary and his $2.5 million roster bonus will have become guaranteed, which means they would have to pay him out. So, are the Rams in trouble with money-wise? You got to remember, they do not have first-round picks for the next couple years. Um, that's because of the Jared Goff trade for Matthew Stafford and also the Odell Beckham trade and the Von Miller trade. What can the Rams do? Here's another, fear, here's another uh, issue with free agency. You guys remember Robert Woods? Robert Woods, who was the wide receiver when uh, he was one of uh, Jared Goff's favorite receivers. Well, apparently he's a free agent. After, after spending one season with the Tennessee Titans, the Titans have agreed to release Robert Woods. It's uh, very shocking. Woods had his best year with the Rams. After being in Buffalo for about four years, he spent four years here with the Rams, won a Super Bowl. Actually, he spent five years with the Rams, won a Super Bowl. He came here um, on Sean McVay's first year, which was 2017. And in his first season with the Rams, he got uh, 56 receptions, 781 yards, and five touchdowns. 2019 was a down year because of injuries. He only got two touchdowns and only 90 yards reception, so he missed a lot of the 2019 season. 2020, he had a pretty much bounce back year. Uh, uh, 90 receptions for 936 yards and six touchdowns, which was Jared Goff's final year. Now, he was a stellar offense when Matthew Stafford came. He caught four touchdowns in the first half of the season, but an injury to his ankle or to his leg forced him to miss the 2021 season, which then uh, led the Rams to trade him to Tennessee. And he's coming off of maybe an average year and not a good year. It sounds like it was disappointing to me. Um, seven, uh, 53 catches, 527 and just two touchdowns. So he really didn't fit much in Tennessee's offensive production. When you have a running back like, I mean, what can you just, what, what what can you do with that? I mean, you're mostly off of a running game. If we remember the years of the Todd Gurley era. Woods still caught decent passes. Uh, let's see, he's had uh, two. Twenty nineteen was his bad year. He only got two touchdowns, but he had over 100, 1,100 receiving yards. He's had over 1,200 yards the year before that. So in, in those, the second, third year with the Rams, he developed to be a number one wide receiver. Remember, 2018 was the year Cooper Cup missed the season, the Super Bowl run, because of an of a ACL. 2020, he was the second receiver to Cooper Cup. And then 2021, you know, they had stellar receivers. I mean, they had Cup, they had Jackson, Deshaun Jackson, and they had Robert Woods. Van Jefferson, I mean, they had a, 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 a good receiving core until Robert Woods got hurt, and that's when they brought in Odell Beckham. So, what can we do about that? Here's the thing. The Rams are in a deep, deep message right now because of the all-in type of stuff. So... What can be done here? Here's what we know. The Rams, what they need right now is a standard offensive line. They had a very, very tough season with their offense because they were, quarterbacks were getting hurt. You know, Matthew Stafford got hurt a few times. 
they couldn't even run the ball well, and they remember the issue with Cam Akers. You know, he if he was going to get traded, they tried to get Christian McCaffrey, but the 49ers beat them. And then now you had the issue whether Sean McVay was going to come back or not because he was very frustrated. It, is, it was a... It was a tough time for the champs, the ex-champs. But they pulled it together in the end, got a couple good wins. You know, they brought in Baker Mayfield. And then also, we don't know if Baker Mayfield is going to stay with the Rams. I mean, Baker Mayfield has been in the NFL for a couple years. He had a bad stint in Cleveland, uh, led them to the playoffs in the COVID year, got that playoff win. And we figured that he was going to go up after that, but he just had a down year in 2021. Then the issue with Deshaun Watson came about him coming up, but then he was suspended for the alleged, for the sexual assault allegations that, by the way, they're still being settled in court or he's still being looked at. I mean, he was suspended for maybe the almost the whole season. But Cleveland's season was already over at the time. So, I mean, Baker Mayfield could have saved that season. But, you know, because of that, he was mad. He said, I want to trade. He went to Carolina. It didn't work out. They benched him. He went to the third string. And then when they waved him, the Rams picked him up because, again, you know, the 49ers were playing well. And they figured that if they got Baker Mayfield, they'd be all in again. So the Rams picked up Baker Mayfield. Guess what? In just two days being with the Rams, he leads them on a game-winning drive against the Raiders. They win 17-16. He had a stellar performance on Christmas Day, putting up the highest points of the season after that team was looking beat up half the year. They couldn't run the ball, but Cam Akers had a very, very resemble um, revival in the last month of the season. Had a couple hundred yard games. He was running like the Cam Akers of old before the 2021 ACL injury. So... Can Cam Akers can still be the running back of the future for the Rams? Yes, absolutely. All you need to do is get this offensive line handled. Andrew Wimmer is not there. Rob Hebenstein is one of the veterans. And then Allen, who is a center, he may be gone uh, on a related matter. So we just don't know what's going to happen with this lineup. But can the Rams pull it together? What is one of their things in the offseason they need? Let me give you a list. First off, let's go with the receivers. You have Cooper Cup, who's going to come back. You have Van Jefferson, who played well the last half of the year. You know, he came back and gave a resentment off in search. And then you have Allen Robinson, who was brought in to be one of those good receivers. But, I mean... Because of this offense, we couldn't really tell how good Allen Robinson was in his offense. So, it's hard to tell what's going to happen here. You bring him in, you pay him this money, and he doesn't, he doesn't bring it to you. It's like, what are we paying for? So, I mean, I can't really sit there and say getting Robinson was a bad choice because we really didn't have enough time to develop him or enough time to see what what we needed or what, what he needed to do. but And then also, the issue was with Odell Beckham as well, whether he was going to come back or not. He got hurt in a Super Bowl. I know that. But something is very wrong when you, you're not sure if you're going to come back and then you go have an appointment with the Dallas Cowboys about possibly playing for them and then you get turned down by some guy named Ty Hilton who he takes over your spot that you're supposed to get and then he goes into the playoffs. Yeah, the Cowboys didn't win a Super Bowl, but when when you get passed on by another guy who's a little older than you, there's got to be a bit of a concern right there. I mean, what 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 do we know? Like, we know he was clear, but he never played at all. An injury like that takes time to heal. You know, we've seen that before. Well, I remember Terrell Owens when he was with the Eagles. You know, he had that that ankle injury or the leg injury. He came back in the Super Bowl. He he looked good. But when you have injuries like this in the NFL, you tend to um, be forgotten. I mean, he's a good receiver. He was well with the Giants. He, he did okay in Cleveland, but just wasn't enough. And then he comes here with Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup. They have that run, and then, you know, you get hurt. And then 
you don't come back. It's like, you know, what's going to happen there? And then also, the top of the food chain, Sean McVay, knowing whether he was going to come back or not. Let's break this down. There were sources inside the organization saying that McVay didn't want to go through a rebuilding project. He doesn't like that stuff. I mean, you're coming off winning a Super Bowl, and then you're going to go into a rebuilding project because of the money issues. There's a price to pay when you go all in. Some people say that it's not worth winning a Super Bowl. What could, where are you from? That's the point you play football. You want to win a championship. Let's break this down. You trade away Jared Goff, who took you to one, hasn't developed at all. You're coming off a COVID year where you had the best defense, but your offense pretty much sucked. And then you and then you know things just weren't working out. So you figure, hey, the Super Bowl's gonna come to Los Angeles at SoFi. Brand new stadium. Haven't had fans in, in because of COVID. Of course you're gonna make a change. You feel like you need to make the change? You know, it just depends on how it looks. You look like a genius or you look like a fool. Sean McVay and ownership didn't look like a fool because they won it. They got to a hot start. Yeah, they had a hiccup that season, but they picked it up when the time was right. They went through that playoff run. We all remember what happened in the playoffs. The blowout win against the Cardinals. The come from behind win against the Buccaneers after leading by 21 points. And then you play the Niners, a team that's owned you, that swept you the last few years. Uh, you had a lead against them, but you weren't able to make that comeback. But now, you know, you, you ended that kryptonite, you beat them, you went to the Super Bowl. You're playing an assistant coach that was with you who turned around a sorry Cincinnati Bengals club to a contender. And then, you know, you go, you lose Beckham. Uh, your running games disappeared. Stafford's been getting beat up. Your defense kept it in. And then you have that one play, you went to Cub. You pretty much say, hey, you're our main guy. We're going to go with you. And the story ended with a Super Bowl. Of course you want to do anything you want for a championship. But you also got to have that tool to repeat. I mean, look at the New England Patriots. They've repeated as champions twice. They've been to the Super Bowl many, many years with a bunch of nobodies. Nobody thought Tom Brady was going to be this all-time great. You know, when, when he got hurt, when Drew Bledsoe got hurt in that game against the Jets, and then they put in uh, Tom Brady, a six-round pick, number 199 or seventh round, whatever it is, and he takes you on the magical run to the Super Bowl. Everyone figured, okay, one shot, that's it. No. Went back to back, had an undefeated season, broke all the records of passing touchdowns, Won a Super Bowl in his late age. He had one where he came back from 31 points down. He also had one because uh, the other team had a great running back but decided to throw a stupid slant out of nowhere, which that still hurts to this day. He would have had two more if it wasn't for Eli Manning. <laughs> he would have had 12 rings, maybe, or 9 rings. You know, two of them... He was denied by the Manning brothers. I remember one year, uh, the 06 championship game, the Peyton Manning beat him. That was one. That, that would have been another one. And then the two losses to Eli Manning, that would have been two. And then you look back at the 2015 AFC championship game, that would have been another one. The 2012 uh, AFC championship game, that would have been another one. The 2013 AFC championship game, that would have been another one. He would have had at least 11, 12, maybe 13 rings. You don't see a guy in sports, you don't ever see those win double-digit rings, you know. Maybe in professional wrestling and boxing, you tend to win the title multiple times. I mean, hell, there's even guys in WWE that's won the title more than once. I mean, Triple H is a 16, 17-time champion. Ric Flair is a 16-time world champion. John Cena is a 12-time world champion. Stone Cold Steve Austin won the WWE title six times. 
uh, The Rock won the title about almost nine times in his career. So there's a lot of uh, notable champions, but yet the Rams won one. And they didn't say, hey, we got it, we're done. No, they tried to run it back. Sean McVay convinced Aaron Donald to come back when they were on that party bus. Remember when he said, run it back, baby? Well, they didn't run it anywhere this year. So what's going to happen here? Can the Rams get Robert Woods on the limited money they have to control this offense? Look, Cam Akers can still be the running back. He showed much improvement in the last half of the season. All you got to do is just fix your offensive line. Make sure you keep Baker Mayfield because in case Stafford gets hurt. Remember, Stafford's old. 